I was wondering yesterday, what gate would Job use? And as heaven comes to earth, and we know there are 12 gates, which gate would Job use? Um, which gate would Abraham use? He's above. You know, he's above all the 12, 12 tribes, you know. And what, what gate would be used by Isaac and by Jacob? Because they are all the tribes. Um, Abel, the first who died, I'm quite certain he's going to be there. What gate would Abel use? He's way above them. Enoch, um, Noah, um, and assuming that those are the ones that are above, and again, I'm quite certain Adam would be there. Yes, he sinned, but my goodness, I have 2,500 consecutive death sentences over my head. I, I <laughs> you know, I, I embarrass Adam because of how much worse I dealt with things because I have 50 years of uh, Sabbath breaking on my head. So, I mean, yeah, Adam sinned. He, you know, he ate the forbidden fruit, but what have I done? So uh, the Creator is letting me in, assuming He does let me in. Um, so it's just an interesting thing. Which gate would they use? You know, they're, they're above. And interestingly, Job is not even through the full lineage because remember, while he is a son of Abraham, he doesn't even come from Jacob. He is a son of Esau, actually a grandson of Esau, but. And you won't get that in your current Bible. You have to look in the Greek Septuagint, which is the older version, to see that he actually comes from the line of Esau. So, which tribe? And I think the answer to that is, they go in, and they pretty much go in any because they're, they're above. But I don't see that they're ever going to come out. I mean, these are people that are going to be so close to the Messiah and to the Creator. You know, it's... It would... You know, and we know the size of heaven is huge. I mean, from the center, assuming they are in the center, they're over 630 miles to get to the outer border. Um, they're going to be too close. You know, Job took on probably more than anyone else who lived through it um, as to punishments. And again, because of that, is there anybody who's going to be wealthier in heaven? other than the creator of the Messiah, than Job, because the treasures he has stored up in heaven are beyond belief. Um, an amazing riches that come from Job. Um, now again, and I say this because thinking of Job and why he has such riches, um, you know, he lost almost everything. You know, on every little bit he could be tortured with, he was tortured. And yes, at the end of his life, the Creator gave him, gave him back more than he had. But which of you, if I said, you know, if you have two children, I'd say, okay, let me go ahead and kill these two children and I'll let you have four more children. Which of you would say that's a good deal? Because I don't think there'd be any that do it. But that happened to Job. He lost his children. Now, did he have more children? Yes. Um, but again, that pain would be there. And when you hear, especially when you read Job 3, you hear the, the absolute anguish in his voice. And I know the Creator heard every word that came out of Job's mouth. And he knew all the pain that Job was feeling. And I know the Creator was there with him. And, uh, you know, if Job is crying, I'm quite certain that, that our Creator was. And he's, again, he piled up those riches. He's paying back, back Job so much more. Uh, again, I can't imagine there's anybody wealthier in the kingdom than Job. Um, Abraham followed Torah, no question about it. Um, and Abraham's going to certainly have riches that we will not touch. But I would think between Abraham and Job, Job's going to be the ultimate on the wealth side because, again, he suffered um, tremendously. And, and our Creator is not like that. He's not one who's going to punish you without, well, I shouldn't say punish you, because um, Job was basically almost tortured, but the Creator is just, and He is a giving and very giving God. It's not a prosperity doctrine. I'm not about prosperity doctrine. What I am about is heavenly prosperity. When you do things here and you're punished here, you get your blessings in heaven where rot and mold do not corrupt what you have. Um, 
So just a thought as to the gates. Like I said, I think they'll be in the center, and I, I can't imagine they would ever deviate and even be, almost even get a chance to get out among everybody else. I think they're going to be right there at the center, right beside the Messiah and Creator. 